friends and family from across the world. This is Bike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide. We're on November 25th, 2018. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Much love to you all. When you got way too much time to wait for a bus during some lovely winter weather, Calgary, Alberta. This was the scene in the evening rush hour two evenings ago here in Calgary. On a Friday, no less, we got 10 centimeters of snow overnight, creating quite the jams on the evening commute. Half of it is melted now as we have a Chinook moving in. Warm temperatures, sunshine here at Calgary tomorrow and Tuesday. We're going to start out here at Pacific Disaster Center looking at the major disasters from around the world. I know I have not uploaded in quite a while. I do apologize for that, but here I am. We've got a couple tropical storms in the West Pacific Ocean, Usagi and Mani. As well, we have winter storms across the upper Midwest of the United States. Latest 5.6 earthquake in Taiwan but also watching large low pressure systems in both the Pacific and the Atlantic right now. Very intense low pressure systems. I've not seen that happen in the Northern Hemisphere, but I warned about it last year. Just looking at the major disasters the last little while, we did have the 6.3 in Iran. And a subscriber told me it was felt as far as Israel so thank you judy for that information but that is a very large earthquake for iran thank you all for staying aware and prepared just overlooking here on the on the right side here showing the last 36 hours for moisture around the world you see that large line of moisture in the atlantic ocean atmospheric river wrapping around the large low pressure system and then another one coming in from the equator and we're gonna watch that thing head straight north towards the North Pole we really have to pay attention to what's happening in our northern hemisphere look at the size of this low pressure system it's going to start breaking off now but you can see the center of the low was so large that it was able to penetrate the Alaskan Peninsula and go over the mountains. But you can see there, fueling in a lot of warm Pacific moisture towards Alberta. Temperatures rising the next couple days, but watch them, watch for them to quickly fall again as we're gonna have temperatures that are going on in Russia right now and we're going to soon get to that but we do have another nor'easter developing later in the week most likely majorly affecting Newfoundland with a lot of snow so here's the the Atlantic Ocean now another large low pressure system and you can see that equatorial low tropical depression pretty much it headed straight north joined forces with another low pressure system and now we're heading towards the North Pole and we've seen that happen time and time and again recently now this is a strange storm a low pressure system developed right in between two highs and this is five day forecast this is projected forecast but interesting enough it comes right off of China where they have their new largest in the world weather making machine 360,000 square foot weather modification station please 
click the link below there and check out the video I put out a couple months ago about China's endeavors to control the weather. Now looking at Russia, these are the temperatures that are going to be swinging around the northern hemisphere later next week and the week after. Minus 40 in some places. But this polar vortex definitely will be swinging around the planet as we are experiencing a major wobble and pole shift. That's right. Our northern, our north pole and our south pole have drastically moved recently, affecting our jet streams, our temperatures, everything around the world. Overlooking Australia, very dry conditions, but a low pressure system developing later in the week, bringing a lot of rain towards parts of Sydney, Australia, but watch afterwards as it turns into possibly a cyclone for northern parts of New Zealand, Auckland, New Zealand. South America, regular daily evaporation thunderstorms. South America, pretty quiet recently. And the southern hemisphere has also calmed down as well. There's not as many large low pressure systems. They seem to have shifted north. So there's a possibility that maybe our North Pole and South Pole have flipped or are in the process of flipping. There's a lot of evidence that is adding up to it. Looking through parts of Europe here, cold high pressure system dominating and pushing cold temperatures straight down to Paris, France there. Maybe that'll help cool things off as we have quite a revolt happening happening in Paris right now. Everybody is up in arms against gasoline taxes that are being forced upon the residents and citizens of Paris, France. Now is the time, people. We need to come together and make a difference. Stay aware and prepared. We need to stay young and have fun at the same time. Learn to love one another and work with each other. This revolution needs to be peaceful. Overlooking the earthquakes the last 24 hours, the 6.3 in Iran, as I said, being felt in parts of Israel, but there's been a lot of recent earthquakes. The last 24 hours have been busy. Strange 5.0 in China, but this 5.6 in the middle of Taiwan and China is very interesting as well. You don't see many earthquakes there. 4.6 here in Mariana's Trench. That was something I was actually going to put a video out about because there was a large cyclone right above there right now. So that would be an atmosphere compression earthquake. 5.6 in New Zealand. And a large 6.0 in Colombia. So two very large earthquakes going off today. The 6.0, 6.3. And we're watching the quiet area here. Stay aware and prepared. We've had a lot of recent activity in the Cascades. Things are ramping up. This is a quiet zone for the Ring of Fire right now. It's kind of freaky. Please stay aware and prepared as things are changing drastically in our planet. And thank you for watching today. Much love to you all. I appreciate your loyalty and support. I apologize that I haven't uploaded for four days. I've been very busy and I've been working. God bless you all. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your morning due. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.